G-Class Folders is an amazing script that allows teachers to set up folders within their Google Drive for each of their classes that they teach. Inside each of these folders are folders for your students where you can share documents with them. You could also run other scripts such as Doctopus, Autocrat, and PageMeister using G-Class Folders. But the first thing that you need is your class roster. And the best way to do that is to export it from Infinite Campus. So how to do that is what we're going to go over next. Obviously first you need to be logged into Infinite Campus. Once you log into Infinite Campus, you're going to go to this section here, Ad Hoc Reporting. If you click on the plus, it will open it up and you want to click on the disk, Data Export. Now in here there are your saved filters. Now yours probably looks a little bit different than this, but I've actually created a filter specifically for creating G-Class folder roster. To find that, you're going to go to All Campus Users and click on the plus right next to it, and scroll down a little bit until you get to the one that says Students, Class Rosters to set up G-Class folders. Now, I don't want you to edit this. The very first thing I want you to do is copy this, and you're going to copy this to your own um, saved filters. So if you press Copy, it says it created a copy named copy of class rosters to set up G class folder. Okay, it cut part of it off, but that's okay. Now, if you right now it's highlighted and notice it's in my saved filters. Now you need to go in and edit it. So you're gonna have it highlighted here and go down to edit. And you can see what fields I've used. I've used student name, I've or sorry, student number, student last name, student first name, teacher full name the schedule of period start and the roster end date. So what you need to do is go scroll down a little bit and we need to edit this. Um, and so you're actually going to go to next down at the bottom right of your screen and notice right here that it says course section and teacher full name equals right now it says my name. You need to change it to your name and everything else you can keep the same and we're going to save it to your user account. So I'm going to press save. After you've pressed save, what I want you to do is go back and just click on data export. And it'll bring you back to your main page. Again, click on copy of class rosters to set up G class folders. And this time you are going to press export right here on the right hand side. But you need to change it to delimited value CSV. And this is going to allow us to open this file using Excel. And you can keep it as comma, include common column, display header, and I'm going to export the information. Now that I've exported the file, I'm going to import it or upload it into my Google Drive. So next to the Create button, there's this little arrow pointing up. I'm going to click on Upload and Files, and I'm going to find my exported file here. Here it is. Extract 4 was the last one that I extracted. So I'm going to open that up. And you want to make sure that you have this box checked. You want to convert documents, presentations, and spreadsheets and drawings to Google Doc format. So make sure that's checked. And then start upload. And now you can open up that file. We need to make a few changes, though, to this file. So I'm going to change the first box to ID. The next box was last name, first name, period. And then I have this fifth box here. This is going to be for my class. And notice I did not write class in here yet. Um, the reason I did not do this is that I co-teach some classes and instead of having some of the students um, labeled being in the class biology and some students being labeled in the class biology RSP, I just left it blank and it's actually easy, easier for me to just type it in. So what I need to do is sort my students in class or in their classes. In order to sort this column by period, I don't want period to actually be moved. I want this top um, titles or labels to stay in place. So I'm going to click right here. Notice that when I move the mouse over this area, the line turns blue. If I click and drag it down, that has now locked these as being my first um, parts in the column, the first headers. So now when I click on this, 
arrow on the end of box D there, and I sort my sheet, notice that my heading stayed on the right spot. Now my classes, my second period class is AVID, so I'm going to type that in. But instead of typing it in every single time, if I grab, highlight this box like it is, click on it, there's this blue box in the corner. When I go to that blue box in the corner, it changes to this little plus symbol. Oops. Um, I can just highlight down or scroll down and it fills in AVID. Now, my rest of all my classes where I have data are actually biology for the next periods. So this time, I could grab and scroll down, or in Google, I can double tap on that blue box, and it fills everything in to the bottom for me with whatever's left, with um, biology. So now I am, I have all my data set. I'm going to actually change the name from extract. I'm going to change it to class rosters 2013 and now I'm ready to or almost ready to use the script for G class folders there's one more piece of data that I need I actually need my student um, email addresses but because we're using Google Apps for Ed that's actually a really easy task I need to add a column so if I click on the little arrow at the end of my column here I can insert one to the right and this is going to be for my email addresses. All right, so to add the email, I'm going to press equals, and I'm going to press or choose um, A2, and then and, and then in quotations, at caramelhs.org and quotations. And notice that this automatically made the student number into a email address. So again, the way that you do that is you press equals and then you choose the um, box that has the student ID number. You press the ampersand and that's going to add to it. And then in quotations at carlonhs.org and quotes and press enter. Now I want this to fill all of them to the bottom. I don't want to have to keep doing this each time. So if I click on the box where I wrote that in, and then double tap on um, the little blue box, and notice it filled in everyone's email address. So now my roster is ready to use the script G class folder.